Facebook, 800 million and growing. Twitter, 200 million and flourishing. LinkedIn, 100 million and prospering. All of these sites are connected to one thing, the internet. The internet can be described as small, many small networks connected to one large network. Julius Janowski, leader of the Federal Communications Commission, was found as a moving speaker as to why the internet needs to remain an open environment with fair rules and regulations so that it is a positive experience for everyone. Today I will <coughs> inform you of what happened before, during, and after his speech, also proving that this is a good example of communication. First and foremost, before speaking publicly, Julius Janowski monitored the internet environment. He also noticed that there were more users and made because of that, it was making the internet much more dense. But before that, the internet started off in 1969 with two computers connected by a cable exchanging small bits of data back and forth. But now, here in the modern day world, we are uploading high definition videos to the internet at massive speeds. One thing now is that it's considered acceptable to deny a heavy user access to a website if there is a lot of demand for it. Julius Janowski studied and analyzed the rapidly growing phenomenon of the internet and addressed publicly some of its concerns. On September 21, 2009, he spoke on behalf of the FCC. <coughs> According to AmericanRhetoric.com, his, his speech can be summarized into three points. One point would be that the internet traffic is getting so dense that it is not being kept to a certain standard meaning that the rules and regulations can't always be enforced because it's happening so quick. Julius Janowski quoted Tim Berners-Lee that the internet is a blank canvas allowing anyone to contribute without permission. Another point would be that there is no one ISP. There was a plan to have one at one time, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. The competition <coughs> for internet, uh, internet service providers, or ISPs, has gotten so great, companies are now offering bundle deals, such as AT&T and Time Warner Cable. They're not technically internet service providers, but they are now including internet so they can be the latest and the greatest. Just because there's a lot of competition among internet service providers, that should not affect the internet being an open environment. A final point would be that copyright is not allowed on the internet. Many people think because there's not face-to-face -face communication on the on the internet. That means that gives them the right to post copyrighted material on the internet. But unfortunately, it doesn't. It is illegal to post any copyrighted material on the internet. And it's really bad because sometimes there's no way to trace back to who posted the copyrighted material to impose the punishments of what happens for posting copyrighted material. Another point to add to this would be discrimination. Discrimination is not allowed on the internet. Just begin because there's not face-to-face -face communication that does not give anyone the right to post discrimination, anything, to the internet. It is not allowed in life, therefore it is also not allowed on the internet. After Julius Janowski's speech, people had many opinions on his speech, and action was taken. From Gale Biography, Roy Blunt objected to the FCC proposal to regulate the internet. He feels that it would lower the investments in expanding the internet. From Encyclopedia Britannica, it is now law that bloggers must state how they got a product if they are choosing to review it, meaning if they bought the product and are choosing to review that, they must have it. Or if they're being compensated in some way from a company. <coughs> the company sent them a product and they are given a salary or if they're allowed to keep the product, they must also state that. Julius Janowski did address some concerns that the internet is becoming much more dense, there is much more competition among internet service providers, and illegal content is seeping onto the internet. And he proposed a solution that the internet does still need to remain an open environment, even with all this going on. He also proved that this is a good example of communication. The internet is a major form of communication that is always ready to feed you information, from possibly Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Google, or any other site.